What's up, guys? We are back with another Flash toy. Yes, another McFarlane line. This one looks cool. So we have a comic book inside. It is it was about 25 bucks, give or take. I see some lightning going on there. I see a card. Got the comic book back there. I do like that outfit. That is just cool. It looks like you're wearing some fancy speed shades going on. Here's the back of it. I'm not sure what this comic book is, but like I said, it's a uh, page puncher, which is, uh, you know, comes with a bigger box, figure of the comic, and all that fancy stuff too. So, but he looks epic cool. So we're going to have to open this guy up and see what he's about. All right. Let's see. I'm just going to tear the box up because, you know, I'm good at that. Okay. Take my scissors, cut that. Now let's pull him out. All right. Cool artwork. Let's turn it around over here. <laughs> nice little background. There we go. All right. So, of course, we got the stand. So, all right. Let's cut that thing open. Not bad. So your basic DC stand. Right here, we have his card. So page puncher cards are different from the actual character cards that McFarlane puts out. So let's see what this one has to say. All right, the Flash. All right, real name Barry in a freak accent, a freak lab accent. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, for uh, for instance. For instance, <laughs> scientist Barry Allen was struck by lightning and dosed with chemicals, which gave him the superpowers of the speed force. Now he uses these powers to defend his hometown of Central City and the rest of the world from forces of evil as the Flash. Not bad. I mean, I said it was shiny artwork. I feel like they're getting cheap on some of these cards. But, all right. There's a comic. We'll get a comic here in a minute. But that's cool. All right. Yeah, I actually used to read comics like religiously, but now I don't really anymore. I need to. <laughs> All right, so I'm seeing in there a little rubber band piece. Go ahead and cut that. Four is lightning. One and two. So that popped right out. All right. All right. Lightning bolt. Not bad. I'll say it goes on his arms or something like that too. But that's cool. I like like the um, reverse flash I had. He had all kinds of lighting and stuff, and you can tell he's made for posing for running. So yeah, he's just kind of standing there. But you know, all these speedsters you can do stuff with. You can mix their lightning and stuff up too. Here's the other one, pretty much almost identical. So so cool though, cool concept, a little different designs. All right, let's get to the figure. The figure I see, rubber band here, rubber band. I don't want to mark the figure up. Rubber band here. I don't think I got it. Oh, there's that rubber band. That one I can get to. Let me try to get back. Maybe on the back here. Yeah. Couple of these little guys. All right, got. Yeah, let's, let's go and come on the back. It's probably more recommended. Usually they're wired in there. So I'm glad they're using these little rubber band things you can cut. Make them a little easier. Maybe. Well, it's not easier. All right, let's see. Well, that's taking like an hour. Okay, I think I got it, or most of it. We got the one over here. All right, now I should, should be able to pull him out. So, let's see there, there, and boom, got him out. All right, we're that side. Nice, nice. All right, let me adjust this camera real quick. All right, so I got it out of the way. There you go. He, is, he doesn't come with other extra hands and stuff like that too. He already looks like he's avoiding something or dodging something. But I do like the fact his hands are flat, so you can obviously make him running, make him do a cool stand. 
So head pretty stuck there, but he can obviously do a 360 there. And his head looks pretty good. I love those goggle looking things. It looks like an actual like helmet to protect him from the speed force. I never got that. They're like, oh, his suit's designed to protect him. Well, what about his eyeballs? So I do like the little details there, the little lightning going on. Got the little darkish, dark, well, it's, I guess it's more of a bronze, it's not really a gold going on there. So looks pretty cool. I do like um, the fact he looks solid red and stuff. You do see like the little lines and stuff like that. Like in the movie and like, you know, the 52 Flash, he has the, you see the, the, the speed force going all through him and stuff like that. I think that's a cool concept. Um, yeah, a lot of people didn't like that. They're like, oh, it's too much on him. Like, well, dude, let's do something with his powers. So his arm moves all the way around. And if you actually look, he actually has his armor moves in and out with it. That's kind of cool. You know, his shoulder cup going on there. So that's good movement, actually. And it doesn't feel weak, but it feels loose, too. Like, you can pose it, but it stays where you put it. So, and of course, you got the double-jointed elbow going on there. His hand rotates around. We already talked about the hands. So, got the cool. That does look cool. You can tell it's like a leather look going on there. Actually, mid. This almost looks like armory kind of thing going on. So, yeah, it's not what his basic rubber spandex stuff going on. This actually looks like a detailed costume. So... I do like that. So I do like the flash usually when he has the boots on. This detail makes it look like they are boots. So but like I said, it's more of a bronze, not a gold. So that's kind of cool. And let's see. Of course, you got the double jointed knees and stuff there too going on, which are a pain to move sometimes. So then you got, well, the foot doesn't really move left or right, but you can rotate it around. Okay. And then, of course, you got the, the toes can go up. So that's kind of a cool concept. All right. Yes. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to stand and make them look like that picture in the back real quick. This kind of stands there. So, but if you notice the picture, the picture actually looks like the shiny and brighter going on over there. So we're like a reflection. So I don't see that going on over here, but still cool. All right. Move his head up a little bit. Yep. Yeah, he looks like he's this is supposed to be an action figure, like action, like moving action wise. But I'm gonna make him stand anyways, throw his lighting on his hands real quick. Alright. So we got like this one. I'll just slide it in there. Or stick his hand in there. Let's see if I can do that without breaking a thumb or something that would suck yeah so somehow I need to pop that in there like ah, get in there that's not working too well well I can always do this too no, that's probably a bad idea let's not take his hand off <laughs> all right so I'm going to Try again, maneuver his hands in there. So he does, it wants to get tangled up in the lightning. That's okay. We'll, we'll do something like that. Go ahead and stick his hand in there. Like that. This doesn't have to be perfect, but you, you just need the concept of it too. So, so yeah, we'll just stop there with this thumb. I kind of want that all the way in. So, all right, so I'm going to try to fatigue his thumb in there. Now his pinky's getting away. Let's see. Can I bend? Yeah, let me try the other lighting. Maybe I can better look at that side. Yeah, that one looks more open. But it's not as tall or long. Yeah. That one actually looks like looks kind of better, but it's shorter. I don't like that. I kind of actually want his hands coming through it. So how do I do that? Fingers, fingers, put his fingers through there. Yeah, his thumb wants to keep catching it. 
So, all right, there we go. Got that one through a little bit. Now it's pinkies in the way right there, see? Not cool. But hey, whatever. <laughs> all right. As long as it looks like it's doing something. So he's standing there, lightning. Yeah, the lightning looks weird there. Let's see, turn that around. That looks, that looks all right. Now, let's try to put it to this other side on the other hand. I don't like that either. So it's almost like you gotta take his, his hands off just to put this stuff in. So, but, there you go. Move that around. His pee's getting stuck again over here. Look at that. <laughs> hey, if that works, whatever. Rotate that around. Yeah, so I need to put his hand actually all the way through. So what I am gonna take his hand off. All right, let's do that. Maybe. Holy crap. It's like really in there. Maybe that's why I didn't come with hands. Yeah, it's not gonna work. I ain't trying to break that. Okay, let's try that again. Hold on. Let's see. There, there, there. There. All right. Okay. So I got his pinky through now this time. That's a little better. Now his thumb's stuck over here. So we can probably rotate. Try to push that in a little bit. Yeah. You see that? It's not really working too well in my favor. There we go. It's a little better. Yeah. That's better. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, so you got his hand pretty much all the way through. I like that. That's better. Now I got to somehow straighten that out. I just want a bow. So this is like a cheaper plastic, obviously, but you can, looks like you can kind of shape it back. So rotate that around. Gotta straighten his arm out. That'll work. Well, yeah. Obviously, I didn't get that side too perfect, but that works. That's, that's him standing there. <laughs> yeah, not bad. But, but, I'm going to have him, like, maybe reaching. Because he, he does look like he can balance pretty good, so. Let's see. Like that. Bend his arm a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to make it look like he's reaching. That'll be kind of a cool pose. Eh, that'll work. That's what you got the stand for. So you need to put the stand on it. But yeah, funny stands suck. The peg hole doesn't want to all the way there. So I'm using the table as weight. Kind of force it on there. All right, cool. So yeah, so I can work with a little running pose for him later or something. He's like running on Barry. <laughs> Not bad. All right. But he's stocky. I do like that. He's a little stocky, a little thicker than some of the other flashes I have. So, but yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Let's see if I can get him stand back up. I feel like he stand better without the, 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 what do you call it? Yeah, he stood better, obviously, without any help of the stands, but. So there's that. Now we're gonna check out this comic real quick. See what this is about. So the flash, let's get that thing open. All right. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I have a couple comics. I actually picked up some comics from Free Batman Day like last month. And I still haven't read them yet. And they literally have no price on them or anything. It's kind of crazy. So DC Comics. A flash. So here's a lot look into the comic. Obviously, you've seen the cover and stuff. The Gorilla Grodd going on in there, Cup and Cold, which is a weird looking mask stuff going on. I'm not sure who this guy is or that guy. So it could be a heat wave because Captain Cold's in there. So this is like probably like a version of his rogue, Rogues Gallery. So he doesn't have the Batman type Rogues Gallery, but he's got some competition out there. So you got, you got some artwork and stuff and upcoming stuff or whatever going on. So 
course, you got some of the work. The artwork looks pretty good. This might be a good little story to read. So, but it's like a basic comic, you know. I mean, you get it with the whole action figure and stuff like too. One of my favorite flashpoints, one of my favorite storylines ever. By the way, check out the animated if you haven't. So, the artwork's pretty cool. See what I'm talking about? The lightning everywhere and stuff. Isn't that, yeah, that's cool. We got Kid Flash in there just hanging out. I really do like these glasses, though. They look cool. So, so yeah, that's a, it's a small little comic. A lot of read. So, we got two. And you got some more stuff going on here, too. Volume two, you got volume three. So, so it looks like he does a little quick battle and stuff like that, too. You meet some of the characters. So, then you got. Yeah, 80 years of the fastest man alive, deluxe edition. That's that's cool. 80 years, guys. That's how long the Flash has been around. Dang. I don't know who that is either. Yeah, I might have to actually read this thing. But pretty much, I, it's not going to say it's a free comic. Like I said, it comes with this stuff. But it's still a cool concept. They call it the page puncher, you know. So um, I used to collect comic book cards. I used to put them all like in a binder and stuff like that too. I never did that actually with comics. I should have done something like that, um, but I ended up selling that whole entire collection a long time ago. Some guy was in love with that stuff. I was like, sure, make a good offer. You have them. <laughs> so, but I do have a few comics left. I mean, a few things to me. So, the artwork's not bad in here. It's it's it's, it's cool. It's doable. But you notice there's, that's what sucks about the comics now. There's an advertisement on every other page. But if you notice, it's still DC related. It's Justice League or the Flash related. It's just other people trying to put their artwork out or their comics out and stuff like that too. I love that picture right there. Like he's, you can tell he's using his powers right there. He's trying to buy, you know, his, his little villains and stuff going on. So, yeah, that's not bad. Green Lantern stuff going on over here. Cyborg, Aquaman, yeah. So... Justice League, yeah, Volume 1. So all these characters come with different comics and stuff like that too. So I guess you can collect them all and stuff. But I'm simple. Comics, you know, they can build up so fast and you just have a clutter of them. And they're like, man, you don't even read them. So that's a classic picture right there. So, yeah, Justice League of America. So, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. That's, that's not bad artwork, though. Story might be good, too, so... We're gonna have to check out the story sometime. Maybe read it to you guys or whatever. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, and, uh, that's our comic book here. And of course, we got our little figure. So, if you guys enjoyed, and remember, guys, stay tuned. You never know what I'm gonna be posting next. All right, guys, till next, kitties. Till next time.